The rise of smartphones and mobile payment apps has brought with it a new age of faith-based crimes. Now there's people out there pretending to be faith leaders asking for urgent donations. And as these digital misdeeds become more common, criminals are capitalizing on people's respect for faith leaders. Here's what the con can look like. Now you'll either get an email or a phone call and they're asking for urgent donations for either the priest of the church or the church in general. Then they're gonna ask for your money in untraceable ways like gift cards. But what people need to know is that none of our priests or the clergy would ever ask for money for themselves personally, first of all, and certainly not in the form of gift cards. I think unfortunately in the world we live in, it's just a matter that people will try to take advantage of your generosity. And so don't stop being generous, but be wary of who you're talking with or who you're interacting with. So here's how to protect yourself. First, always calmly ask yourself, does this request that this person is asking of me make sense? Second, if you go to church every week, it's better to ask in person and give that donation in person to make sure that it's legit. Third, there's a little trick if you get one of these emails. Take your computer mouse, hover it over any emails or links that they include in the email. Now something will pop up. If that email or link does not match up with the organizations or the names of the people that they're asking donations for, it might be a bogus email. Also, look for any spelling mistakes. And lastly, avoid giving anyone you don't know money in gift card form. The bottom line is once you give that money over in a gift card, it's untraceable and almost impossible to get your money back. Fighting Fraud, I'm Cassie Arsenault. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.